Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of Friendship with Microbes and in today's video we will discuss about bacteriophage. So let's get started. A bacteriophage is a virus that infects a bacterial cell and reproduce inside it. They vary a lot in their shape and genetic material. A bacteriophage may contain DNA or RNA. The genes range from 4 to several thousand and their capsid can be isohedral, filamentous or head tail in shape. The bacteriophage were discovered independently by Frederick Toward in UK. Bacteriophage are found throughout the world in different environment and are even recognized as one of the most abundant biological agents on earth. These are the most abundant biological particle in water and the second most abundant component of the biomass on land following prokaryotes. The head structure of different phages might differ. The size of phages range between 24 to 200 nanometer in length. The shape, size and structure of different bacteriophages are different depending on the type of bacteriophage. Like bacteria, bacteriophage are also classified into different order and families depending on the morphology and genetic material. Now move on to the structure of bacteriophage. The bacteriophage consists of a polyhydral head, a short collar and a helical tail. The polyhydral head consists of 2000 capsomers with double standard DNA enclosed within. And the helical tail consists of an inner hollow tube which is surrounded by a contactile sheet within 24 annular rings. The distal end consists of a basal plate with tail fiber at each corner. The bacteriophage attached to the bacteria with the help of these tail fibers. Life cycle of a bacteriophage. The bacteriophage exhibits two major type of life cycles. Number one is lytic cycle and number second is lysogenic cycle. In the lytic cycle, a bacteriophage infects a bacteria and kill it to release viruses. In the lysogenic cycle, the viral DNA gets integrated into the host DNA, but viral genes are not expressed. The prophage is passed on to daughter cells during every cell division. After some time, the prophage leaves the bacterial DNA and goes through the lytic cycle and creating more viruses. Now move on to the application of bacteriophage. The following are some of the application of bacteriophage in different areas. Number one is treatment of bacterial infection. With the increasing cases of bacterial resistance against numerous antibiotics, the potential use of bacteriophage a possible treatment has been explored. As the bacteriophage infects only bacteria and is harmless to human, the administration of such bacteriophage into humans help in the destruction of such infectious bacteria. Number second is in food hygiene and safety. Bacteriophage are used to control and eliminate bacterial contamination from food surface and foodborne spoilage. Bacteriophage are highly specific which make them attractive for sanitizing of ready to eat food like milk, vegetables and meat products. Number third is in agriculture. Some bacteriophage that are specific to plant bacteria have also found their application in agriculture. These bacteriophages are used for the treatment and prevention of bacterial disease in plant. The use of bacteriophage in the place of antibiotics prevents the clumping of antibiotic on the plant surface, which then might be harmful to the health of the consumer. Okay, so that's it for today. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.